Hey there guys, here we go. Got the copper elbow. Uh, it's a bit big, but um, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to chop this intake tube off about here maybe. And then ram him on as far as we can. But the problem is, is we can't really do much because of this dent. This dent here is not too big of a deal because that's only a head bolt. So we just cut that off. But... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to take this cooling shroud thingy off um, and show you what I'm what I'm doing. Just pulled the blower housing off and look what I found. We got us a wetter. Wow, I haven't seen one of these in so long. I think that's a punga wetter. Um, little wee one actually, he's only quite young. Look at him. Isn't he cool? Huh. Awesome. <laughs> here we go, so I've uh, whipped that off. There it is here. And I'm just going to go ahead and put the motor back in the vise. Now if you're working on motors a lot, doing this, clamping the crankshaft in a vise is very handy, I figured. I've uh, quite often do that. So now we're going to go ahead and put him in there. We need to figure out where we want to have our elbow cut off. So I'm thinking probably about here. We'll get this is just a mock up carburetor, but having it hang off that far isn't too bad of a place, I suppose. It'll be something like that put it more in if I can because what I'm going to have to do is when I chop this off to get this end of the copper tube to fit into this piece of carburetor I will take the off cart off here and then glue it into the other side but if I'm going to glue or solder gluing is probably going to be easier but I'm not sure how well it's going to handle the heat of the motor it should be alright I mean it's high strength metal glue like JB weld I guess and uh, Charger Miles, uh, he actually glued together a crank, uh, not a crank, a, uh, a uh, connecting rod with some JB weld in it. Sort of ran alright until we revved it up and then it broke again. That's alright though. But um, yeah, this is what we're doing. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put some screw, we'll put this one screw in there. And I'm just going to mess around and see what I can mock up. There we go guys, I just took that much off. 15-20 uh, mils. So I'm just putting it on there, uh, trial fitting it. Um, get the blower. Set that on there, just see where it comes out to. So it's not terrible, terribly sticking out too much, which is what we want um, we could probably get it to hop in a bit more because we've still got all this space in here we've got like another oh, I don't know 30, 35, 40 mils before we come in contact with the head blow it's not too big of a deal I just cut that up rather not cut the head up because you know um, so I'm going to take this off again and I'm going to take another 15, 20 mil off. And we'll see how we go. Alrighty guys, got it pretty much mounted. Uh, it goes on there alright. I need to take a bit more off. Just off here. Because uh, the copper pipe is hitting the end of the head bolt. So, quick trial test. Yeah, you see we've still got more space yet. We can still go up another quite a bit. So, uh, I'm going to get the... I really don't want to cut it open. Cut the copper up, if I can. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo the head bolt a bit. And see where that gets us. Hang on a minute. 
Yeah, I'll find a socket and I'll... Alrighty guys, I got it to where I want. Uh, somewhat level, I suppose. You can't really see it, but, you know, it looks alright. So now that's what we're going to do is we're going to get a felt pen, vivid, sharpie, what is. Uh, I'm just going to draw a line. So we can get the alignment nice and straight like that. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to take it off I'm going to try to hammer it on a bit more and then I will mix up some metal glue and we can glue it all together. Oh, but before we do that we need to figure out how uh, far out we want our little carburetor to sit. Cause I'd like to still be able to get a uh, air filter on there if I could but um yeah that's pretty straightforward from now there we go guys there it is in there drying not too much drippage I've uh, held it vertically for a couple minutes just let the glue the stuff sets well begins to like it goes touch dry after about 15 minutes they say on the packet so I guess we'll uh, see how she goes um yeah they'll probably no, it's not. Uh, we'll see you later, guys. I'll probably be back tomorrow morning. Well, next segment in this video, what is? Well, a uh, quick little update for you. I've uh, been working. I uh, created a aluminium spacer, as you can see. That's all in there. Silicone. It's got some uh, silicone in there. Silicon. Silicone, as you Americans would say. I uh, got the uh, copper tube with the uh, other thing there, uh, yeah. Oh, look, the little cute little puppy just turned up. Kill me. Yeah. There you go, we got a nice little wet dog. Um, but yeah, so now what I'm going to work on is uh, mounting. Uh, how am I going to how am I going to mount it? So uh, remember, I've got this. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this carburetor on there, this isn't the one that we're using by the way, this is just an old one that I've pulled apart, um, that's going to go on there, and yeah, so, hmm. there we go, it's all pretty uh, pretty well done, it's not level as you can see, uh, it's part of my bracket's fault, I probably drew it this wrong, um, but it's relatively secure considering this bolt here, the head bolt, that I've mounted on isn't tight at all. It's pretty secure. Yeah, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to finish a few things. Uh, first of all, we need to fix this bolt because as you probably remember, it bottoms out on the intake tube, so I need to whip him out and grind a couple mils off it. Um, I'll get back to you once I've done that. Uh, probably working on the uh, oil slinger in the crankcase there so uh, yeah I guess I'll see you back in a minute alrighty guys so now we need to go ahead and make some sort of an oil slinger and I thought about making it out of a lawnmower blade why? because it's uh, spring steel and spring steel is going to do a lot better in here because as it hits the oil it's going to want to flap around like that so if it continuously is if it's continuously flapping around, it will eventually break. And that's actually what happened to the um, to my first engine that I converted to run horizontally. The uh, oil slinger broke off. The second one that I used, I used a table saw blade. And that one did a whole lot better. So uh, this time I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to see if I can use a lawnmower blade. So we need to take it at the moment down to... Uh, bottom dead center, I think. Yep. My no, top dead center. Or about here. Where the crank is, when the, the bottom of the crank set is lost, which it is about right now. So, so what we're going to want to do now, is we need to get a bit of metal. About, mm, looking into here, we need at least uh, 25 to 30 mils. I think I'll try that. 
I might even go longer than that actually, because we're going to bend it. So I'm going to go for a 50mm thing. So I'm going to measure that up here. And I will cut that out. And I'll get back to you once I'm uh, getting ready to install it. Alrighty guys, I finally cut it. That took a very long time because my arsenal of drill bits uh, unfortunately is blunt. So it was took me a few times to find a sharp one. Let's just put this right down reverse here. I think that's it. That's it. Rah. Just gonna go ahead and undo this bolt here. Check to make sure it fits. It does. Lovely. Let's just put these out of the rice clips. Yeah. yeah. I like to keep these vermeers nice and clean because they're my grandfather's and. I don't think he'd be very happy for us to wreck them. Yeah, he would like, because I use them all the time, actually. Right. Ah, uh, yes. Looks like we're going to have to do some modifying. It won't sit flush in there without it being on an angle, which we don't really want, so we need to whip it out. Now, if you want to do this yourself, there isn't any measurements, okay? You just eyeball everything. You just you eyeball everything, okay? That's all there is to it. Um, there is no perfect, especially in this case. I'm gonna find my other file. Yeah, it's taking too long. So, I'll just chuck it in some vice scripts again. Safety goals. Clear away some crap. And that fits in there a lot better. Right, do this bolt up now. Uh, I'll get back to once I tighten that up. Okay, it's in. Now we just go ahead and reassemble the engine. So tap it. Oh Jesus. Ay, ay, ay. Ah, this is very difficult. I have to try to get that out now. It's way down in there. <sighs> okay, um, I need to get these tips in and then I'll show you. And they're in. Now I'm going to get the camshaft. Put that in there. Make sure that's timed correctly, which it is. It's sitting down properly. Everything, right. So now we're going to turn the engine over and make sure that our little slinger doesn't hit anything. There we go, everything's good, it clears. Now we just need to figure out, so it doesn't tip the camera off, how much of a, uh, sort of like a tick sort of shape at the end we want. Because obviously it's just going to splash the oil everywhere, which is what we want. But a little bit of a uh, bend at the end will help it splash the oil up to the cam followers 
and into the valve uh, the valve springs and stuff. It's not very flimsy, so it's quite hard, but uh, it should be good enough. I mean, from my experiences, that's all I did to the last time. It'll just splash oil everywhere throughout there and uh, coat everything, hopefully. But, um, yeah, so that's that done, I suppose. So now we can go ahead and figure out um, how much oil we need to put into this thing. Okay, so I'm going to grab my pencil. Just turn it around here. So at the lowest point is here. So it should definitely, I'm gonna guess about about here is how much I'm gonna put in. I might even put in a bit more, but that is, you know, immersing the bottom part of the crank in. Might even have to go a bit lower. No, I'm going to go at the top of that gear there, which is that high. And I'm just going to transfer it to the other side. Just a horrible scribble all day. Um, and now we're going to go ahead and put the sump plate back on. First of all I'm going to go and clean it out because it is revolting in there. Um, it's not too bad. Might just spray it down with some, uh, some CRC and uh, give it a quick little clean out. So uh, yeah we'll see how we go.